Hey loves, happy new year <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. I'm so so happy to be saying that once again. It's been so long. Well, I'm back now. I'm glad and I'm grateful that I can do this YouTube thing again. <laughs> So today guys, I'm going to be taking you guys through my makeup, get ready with me, not like I'm going anywhere, I just want to chit chat with you, tell you guys where I have been, where I went to that I failed to fulfill the purpose I opened me to, stay tuned, watch this beautiful video, watch how I transformed myself into this beautiful angel, come back and let me tell you where I have been, let us go into the video. Hey my loves, are you guys ready? Can you see this pretty face? Well, let's transform her. Thanks for staying tuned by the way. So I started off with the Vimeo London Stay Matte Primer by applying a suitable amount that can blend into my face, all over my face properly. I really like how this becomes matte. It gives my face a good base for the foundation. Then I go in with the Fina and Revlon foundation together just because I've not found my perfect shade in these products and I really like how they give me the shade I want so as you can see I'm blending this into my face so I use the darker shade first which is the final foundation then the Revlon foundation which is the lighter face lighter shade rather the darker one has this orange undertone while the lighter one has the white undertone my face has a white undertone so because the revlon is lighter than my face and the fina is darker they blend together to give me the perfect shade i don't know if you guys understand but you can see it just matches my skin my neck my hand perfectly so then i use this brush this foundation brush to blend in I love to blend in my foundation properly then i go in with my gorilla snot gel this is not usually for brows but i like to use it for my brows because you know guys this thing tames my brows <laughs> like it stays where i put it till i'm done using it so i just take my spoolie and brush my brows upwards this way it gives my brows um, the natural look I want it to have after I've even used my brow pencil. So then I do this thing that I give my brows a shape so that they look trimmed even when they are not trimmed. And the gel helps it to stay put so I just line it all together like this and it has this shape. And I sometimes do this when I'm not wearing makeup. Then I'm using the final foundation as concealer. I use a lighter shade, lighter than the one I use for my face as foundation. So I like to use this as concealer because it has full coverage and it works well with my eye bags. I'm using the flat brush from Reveal Technique. This is also a paste brush. So I use it to apply my foundation, that is the concealer I'm using right now, the foundation I'm using as concealer, onto my eyelid. I like to extend it to my eyelid because it highlights that part of my face. So by the time I'm concealing my brows, I can, just, I can just blend it out. Then I'm going to repeat this process for underneath the other eye. I use the paste brush to paste the concealer then use my beauty blender to blend it out this gives you the perfect concealed on that eye <laughs> so guys can you see how this looks really 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 blended out like it doesn't have all those harsh lines it doesn't have any demarcation it's just properly blended then i'm using this brow pencil it is from milai not milani Lying. it's a new product and I've been loving it ever since I started using it so I'm just drawing a straight line underneath the brows to define it properly this way it makes the brows look better I also like to draw light strokes on top of the hairs 
and align it together so that it still looks natural i don't press in my hand i just lightly go in and you know it to have the natural look and not look too dark darker than the brows as you can see So I usually repeat the process for the other brow, as you can see. At this point, my pencil was already blunt and we don't want to have too dark, too thick brows. So I decided to sharpen and then draw my light strokes again, as you can see. You guys always remember that these brows are sisters not twins they can never look the same so don't try to make them look exactly the same they should look similar but not the same so i'm using the thinner foundation again as my concealer to contour my brows i like to go underneath the line i drew and just draw a straight line just blend it in i don't know how to explain this part but just make it look good <laughs> so basically we're just using to conceal the hash lines you don't want to be looking like those village aunties then i'm going in with my beauty blender again to blend in all the concealer the ones i put before and the one i put now then i'm going to use a darker foundation that is the foundation i used initially the darker thinner one i forgot to do this process i already did it so this is me just saying okay i forgot and i wish i recorded it then i'm going with my classic banana powder this thing i just discovered it i used to use the sasha buttercup but now i discovered this and i like it so i was just saying don't open it immediately tap the head so it doesn't pour on your face so then I'm using this nasal brush, that is what is written on the stick. I don't know why it's called that. I don't use it on my nose. Okay, I'm using it on my nose right now. But I use it for the powder, that's the banana powder from Classic. I use it, not like big, I just use it to apply this powder underneath my eye to give it a matte look and to highlight basically. So I repeat this process for everywhere I'm putting it right now. Don't be scared to apply enough, don't worry, you'll be able to blend it out after now. Just make sure you cover everything and everything is well blended after all. So up next, I'm using the Zikel powder palette. I'm using the two darkest shades from this palette. I already did this process but I, I forgot to film. So this is me just showing you. You can see the demarcation between underneath my eyes and my cheekbones. So I use this to bronze, what some people call contour. Next, I'm going in with the Who's That Girl palette in shade Mature. So this, I'm just slightly using this blush. I don't like to use too much. So next, I'm using the Milani powder. This is my face powder. So I just take this Real Technique brush and just use to powder everywhere that needs to be covered properly. So next, I'm using this buffing brush to buff out the excess powder on my face that is mostly underneath my eyes and blend it together. Next, I'm going in with the Kiss Beauty Makeup Fix Spray in the flavor green tea and I just spray enough to moisten up my makeup and then allow it to dry and then continue what i was doing i love this process so much because you know like it shows you that ah, you have done a good job up next we are using this karate liquid liner to draw our wings we are about to take up guys 
so i'll just let you guys watch this process and you'll see how i do mine There is really no technique or explanation on, on how to draw a liner these wings. You don't have to make them this long. I have hooded eyes so I have to make sure I make them fit my eyelid. So I just always look and compare and know how I'm supposed to do it. I don't know how to explain it but you guys should just watch me and you will understand. And with time, if you keep practicing and learning, you will be pro. Not like I'm a pro, <laughs> but then you will just understand the technique and what works for your eyes. So up next, I'm going in with this Kiss Beauty Mega Impact Mascara. So I'm just using it to darken my lashes because I already have powder on them and I, you don't want it to be looking white underneath your false lashes. I then repeat the process underneath as you can see. Up next is my under eyeliner. I'm using this local traditional kajal. I really like how dark it makes my eyes look. And then I heard that it is medicinal. I don't know how true that is. Next is my lip liner. I'm using this jumbo brow pencil to line my lips, the upper part, and a little bit of the lower part. As you can see, just watch the process. So up next, I'm using this absolutely gloss to give my lips this glossy look. I'm going to repeat the process for up and down, the top lip and the bottom lip. So I already used this Mary Kay lipstick on my lips off camera but I forgot to record so I was just showing you guys what it looks like. Then I used this highlighter from Blossom Cosmetics. I forgot to record it so I'm just showing you guys how I did it. Then I'm using my face powder to lighten the areas around my mouth. Then we are good to go. Then also around my nose. Then we are good to go. Then I use my setting spray to just fix everything in and we are done oh i almost forgot the false lashes so i'm using this hair burning glue as the lashes glue then a set of lashes for my lash palette i wait for it to dry then i do this i try to powder my eyelid i use a darker powder for my powder palette oh i use my face powder rather just to do this as you can see I was just making a definition of my nose and my eyes because I didn't contour my nose I didn't bronze my nose then after my lashes are dried I then fix it on like this and we are done guys I'm so excited like this is really really the last part bye so you guys I think last time I posted a video was last year January I mean that is not good for someone that wants to grow so I'm sorry I'm here now enjoying the grace of God upon my life basically I took a break more like a break but then I just stopped posting why I don't know like I don't have any reason I just stopped posting I think I got lazy then from lockdown that I started doing TikTok you know TikTok captured my heart up until like 2021 i was enjoying tiktok so much that i forgot about instagram i didn't really post it was my tiktok videos i was just taking to my instagram because youtube is not something that i always took seriously i just always wanted to have a youtube channel because i thought it was cute i thought it was just cool like you know when you watch people on youtube you're like this thing i can't do it but then i didn't 
take my time to research on how to grow and all that i just wanted to do it which wasn't good enough so i think i took a break not like i think i took a break like i just stopped it's not like i decided that, oh i wanted to stop i just stopped because i could not keep up with being consistent and creating content and dropping maybe every week or every two weeks or something like that anyways i'm here now and i'm happy i know you guys are happy too like you're happy to see me because I'm happy to see you guys. Even if I can see you guys, I know you guys are smiling and you're welcoming me with your whole heart. I'm here now and I plan to like post every week. I want you guys to please share my videos, please subscribe, share to your friends, your family members, to your office people. Just carry their food and so <laughs> click on subscribe, subscribe, please. So I don't know if it's possible, but I hope to get to 1,000 followers by the end of this month. I know you guys can do it for me. I know. I believe. <laughs> My goal for this year is to be consistent. I just want to be consistent. If I'm eating, I want to be consistent. If I'm not eating, I want to be consistent. I just want to be consistent. And I really, really, really have put this in my heart to do this year. And I'm, I hope I'm going to do it. So you guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sharing my videos with your friends and your family. I hope to see you guys next week. Next time. Soon, we'll be here. You know the goal, you guys. 1,000 subscribers for the end of January. We can do it, right? We can, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so, so much. Without you guys, I mean, my YouTube channel will be nothing. So, thank you. See you guys next week. Bye. Love you.